So Jimmy, you as representing uh, BY Security in Clapton and all the things that you do. Yeah. Anything you can report on meeting Nigel today? You had a superb picture of him, by the way. Anything you can report to the community that we can share with everybody? I just think, to be honest with you, Dan, it was a breath of fresh air. You know, all the negative comments, but the positive outweighed the negative. Yep. There was t I didn't think there'd be that many people turn out. But there was hundreds and hundreds of people out in support, yeah? Yes. So, um, and even the town hall, even had the gardeners out the front of the town hall doing the grass. That's a surprise. Because mm. the, the cameras were in town. <laughs> thank you, Jimmy. By the way, superb picture of you and Nigel together. Thank and thank you, Martin. Anything to report? To report Rob, anything to report? Not until we come back to you. Apart from, obviously, um, two of our bleed kits have been used yes. uh, in the last four weeks uh, and both lives have been saved. The gentleman that got stabbed in Oral Road, not this Saturday, the Saturday before, if that life-saving kit wasn't there and the tourniquet wasn't used, we'd be talking about a different story around this table. So one of your bleed kits has saved the life. Two, two. Two. Superb. Yeah, Brilliant, Brilliant everybody. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. The um, um, incident was an accident, so we can talk about that because it's less sensitive. But a lady hurt herself. But um, Pete from uh, is it Giorgio's fish shop in town? Yeah. Pete Sergio, he, he he rushed to her aid, and he too actually saved her life because of the amount of blood that was coming out. So. Pete done a fantastic job Superb. Um, of using the blade kit. Without timing. Without timing, yeah. Thank you guys, that's great news. Shine on.